Hello and welcome back to the temp tutorial in the Cocos 2DX JavaScript tutorial series. And in this tutorial we'll be looking at the place method to position an item. The place method basically just places an item where you specify it using that action. You might think why would you not use the already existing set position method? One example where this could be useful is you could create a place action, uh, just the one. For example where the player spawns and you can use this several times again and again when the game loads when the player dies and needs to restart and when the when the player restarts manually perhaps it could be used for some sort of collectible and you want the collectible to always spawn there once a certain condition has been met and you may want to change that initial spawn point to somewhere else so you would actually have to change it in every other little bit to prevent this you could use just the one action and then change it, change the initial initialization of the action, and then it will just propagate and it will just work. Let's just get into the code and we'll just show you. This tutorial seems you've done tutorial free. There'll be a link in the description to that tutorial. Oh, there you go, projects. I don't find it there. Yeah, there'll be a link in the description to source code from tutorial free and as usual there'll be a link in the description for the source code from this tutorial as well. Okay, let's just maximize that. Go to the myapp.js. Let's go below where we've added the sprite as a child. You want to do var create an action. I'm going to call it sprite underscore action equals cc dot place dot create open bracket cc dot p open bracket we're just gonna put 100 by 17 just the random number 17 so with 100 semicolon now let's just sort out the formatting as I, like I said before the formatting is terrible now let's just run this action this dot my sprite sorry for that dot run Action open bracket sprite action close bracket semicolon. Oops, just go back, format it, and now let's just run in the simulator. This should appear somewhere in the bottom left. Terminator up once it rotates, it will start running the application. It should be around about here somewhere. Oh yeah, down there. There you go. So you could change that to 118. Click play. That'll be run about here. There you go. So you could reuse that method again and again. So if you were to have multiple sprites, I'm not actually going to do it. But if you were to have multiple sprites, you could use the action again and again. And if you initially wanted the sprites to appear in a different place you could just simply change it here change that to 20 and that change this to 90 for example but that's just a quick example where you could use the place method for in the next tutorial we'll be looking at scaling using the scale by um, but that's for the next tutorial thanks for watching